Welcome everyone, it's Vapors of Dragomar. It is time for more Raid Shadow Legends. I'm going to be continuing on my rampage after learning about League. Because that's what I was trying to do, as well as post my latest content on also Avion 4. Because I never finished that. Yes, sir, I never finished that. Um, let's see what I can do. First things first. We gotta look for some Valerie's for the buff extension. As crazy as that sounds, because the main thing I have to focus on is, um, it's Turagi. Quite seriously, it's Turagi. Turagi and uh, the other one, Valerie. Literally got to focus him down. Yeah, I have to have this champion. We'll eventually be focusing on that. But yeah, um. I have to check whether he's on my arena defense. But I need to get him to 50 again. As mad as that sounds. As mad as that sounds. Cause yes, I am trying to get him to sixty. I won't. I, I, I have to. I have to do fifty again first. He's got to blend in. Right now, he doesn't blend in. Like at all. Alright, so the remainder of that, we're going to be focusing on... Um, this stage in particular. Because we have to amp his XP up. Massively. If we want a chance to get a better... Plan boss. Because, yeah. I'm trying to give him. I mean, you saw me blow potions on him earlier, but blowing potions on him is the only thing I have to do. I have to then blow other potions on him as well and try to ascend him. Giving him 17,600 XP. Which is roughly a elixir in the actual form that he's in. Roughly. Uh, yeah. Yep, the 
Now I protect, man. Comes in clutch. Gotta give him. Gotta give him that. Gotta look for us or something. Potions. Special potions. Yeah, this is this is my divine process for getting some potions to this. Like, the thing is getting him to 60 is going to be a major part. I guess I can deal with 45 for now. But yeah. Like, I'm, I'm still trying to buff this guy. Alright, we don't need to blow our gems straight away. Um... Nah, again... Here's the thing. A lot of these people are intimidating anyway, but I'm going to take them on. Because <sighs> this thing is the max health monster. I called it. Should help. I still don't know if we'll win doing this, but He's doing his job. It's just for some reason doing his job versus this stuff is proving to be phenomenally hard. I don't know why it's so hard. But it is. It is so hard to kill this guy. Alright, at least we did kill him. Because like I said, it's going to take a while before I can... Get him really, truly ready for him. Do what I can. Finally, people are falling for Taragi. It's 
finally working. People are actually falling for this stuff. I'm actually not completely weak this time. So I'm not like killing him all the time. So I'm, I was so sick of that BS. So sick of that. So sick of that. Let's give some Taragi solo XP. Because again, you're going to want to give him energy whenever you can. I'm having bad luck with the Fire Knight, so I've decided to try to play to what my strengths are right this second. That's what I've decided to do. said we're gonna do two first we got to inspect armor number one thing we gotta inspect the armor enchant defense percent perfect speed Defense percent. Resist. Thirty one K, two K defense, pretty bad. Resist. Trying to get all his armor enchanted at least. Because it's going to be a while before we can get him to 60. It's going to be a while. But when he gets there, it's go he's going to smack. Well, he's not just going to... He's going to survive and he's going to smack. Because his, his damage is based on HP. If I can get him better HP artifacts at some point, that would be really good. See if I can find something with a lot of health and defense percent. For now, this will do. But we will get him better gear maybe later. And, and obviously better levels. We will be getting him to 60 will happen. I was determined to try to prioritize him ever since I pulled him from a shard because he's a big deal in a number of ways. Both size and influence on the game. He has uh, full factor needs. Um... 
he, ha he has both attributes, so that's part of it. That's what I'm trying to improve on him, especially since we've progressed in normal clan boss, which means I suddenly have to put myself on hyper mode. I don't think I want to straight get him to 60, but I want to, I want to try to get him close before I have to do I also have to check my arena defense, make sure he's on it. Because him him at level 45 will have more stats than a level. His stats aren't perfect though. Like his gear could still his gear and masteries could still use work. Because the Taragi I saw in the video had a hundred K HP. Mm -hmm. He had a hundred K HP. So yeah, his defense artifacts are actually not that good. When I when I get his better health gear and stuff later. I think I'm gonna want something with like a really high health percentage. Why? I have to look at the exact artifacts. That guy had a hundred K HP on him. A hundred K. Now where am I gonna find such artifacts that are gonna give him a hundred K HP even when I get him to sixty? It's kind of mind-boggling when you think about it. And, and masteries have to be that. It can't, it can't just be the armor. It has to be masteries, ascensions. It has to be a collaboration of effects. The burn up is going to be very important for this fight. As you can probably imagine. Because this fight. Um, HP burn is really valuable against this guy, and it's a pity that now I'm been ordained to only fight normal. So that means I have to kind of start from scratch. A little bit, not entirely, but a little bit. It's not, it's not the end of the world, but it definitely means I'm gonna have to put a fuck ton of upgrades on my channel to be able to actually just kill this by myself. That's what it's gonna be. Because obviously my clan is not gonna be fighting this. It's still an easy one. Loafing. Doing that won't be easy. Because sometimes you can kill the easy clan boss if you have help from the clan. I have no such luxury. I have to, I want to fight a clan boss above easy, I have to do it myself. I have to learn how to do it myself. Which it's not impossible. But it's definitely not, it's not a straightaway affair. Because it requires a lot of upgrades. Um, a lot of upgrades, better gear, things like that. Because what happens is, with these higher difficulties, Especially with the mastery and stuff. These higher difficulties, um, the boss just one shots a team. Like, in the 
later phases. That's the, that's the thing about this boss. He just, he just annihilates you. That's basically what he does. See, he smacks harder now. Okay, that's a little awkward. Might need a farm spider. Wasn't expecting Kale to get one shot. And then Taragi lives. This is one of the things that's interesting about these defense champions. When you start leveling them up, they start getting tankier than the damage dealers. They're tankier than the existing members by a significant margin. With notice. Notice how long he lasted. Notice. He did even more than these two big shots, and he's not even... He's not even at his final form. NOT BY A LONG SHOT! When he gets to his final, final form, it's gonna be insane! 